Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I've been posting, the recently released Windows Copilot is not without its issues and has been causing a couple of headaches and issues and problems for users after upgrading to Moment 4, which introduced um, Windows Copilot and started introducing Windows Copilot last week. And um, as I've mentioned before, one of the reasons it has issues and bugs is because it's still in preview. And I'll leave one or two videos down below if you would be interested um, on different issues that uh, Copilot has been causing for some users, if that would be of interest. Now, as many of you will know, Microsoft is known to push ads uh, in the Windows OS and also in Microsoft Edge. And um, I didn't think it would take long, and already ads have now been spotted uh, in Copilot. So Microsoft is already starting to push ads into Windows Copilot on Windows 11. And um, just to demonstrate what this is all about, if we head over to a screenshot uh, provided by GHEX, yeah, we can clearly see advertisements uh, in Copilot. And in this case, um, advertisements for laptops. And this isn't really a surprise um, because, as I've mentioned previously, Copilot is basically a web container using Bing Chat. So Windows Copilot operates using Bing Chat within Microsoft Edge's web view. And obviously, um, it, there was a good chance that adverts would eventually start appearing in Copilot. As we can see, that has already started. So um, unfortunately, at this stage, though, uh, there doesn't seem to be any way to turn off the advertisements. So uh, they look like they are going to be trickling through, as Microsoft is known to do. And now Microsoft just has another platform to show us ads, which is a little bit unfortunate. But... Um, Nonetheless, just wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, something else I've noticed regarding um, Windows Copilot is that it's quite slow in its response. So when you ask it a question, it's actually quite slow. And so as an example, um, if I ask it to turn on light mode, turn on light mode. Now, yeah, you can see it takes a little while and then it heads into a option where it says to you, would you like to turn off dark mode? Would you like to turn off dark mode? Yes, no thanks. Now that's just an extra step. So I find it quite slow because I would prefer just to, when I say turn off dark mode or turn on light mode, it would just do the action and not have me to click yes or no thanks. So it is a little bit slow and there are reports that... Um, responses in the copilot are slow so obviously these are just bugs that microsoft is on and out because it is still in preview as i mentioned in a recent video and uh, the good news is that if you don't like windows copilot um if you are experiencing more issues and um, then the actual good it's bringing then i have posted a video previously on how you can actually disable copilot in windows 11 which will actually remove it from the OS. And I'll leave a link down below to that video if that would be of interest. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.